My name is Tepo Constable from the UNISA Library. Did you know that in 1984, the National Research Foundation instituted a system of evaluating and rating researchers? Researchers from local and international universities and research council can apply for evaluation by the NRF. Once evaluated, researchers are placed in categories that depict their standing within the scientific community. These ratings are difficult to attain and are thus held in high esteem. You can also have your research evaluated. A team of personal librarians have put together this tutorial on becoming an NRF-rated researcher at UNISA. The NRF application process starts long before you actually apply, as there are various tools that you need to put in place beforehand. The choice of journals in which you publish is very important to ensure that you publish in accredited and high-impact journals. The following lists of journals are important to consult in the identification of accredited journals. The South African Research Output Accredited System. Journals appearing in the ISI Science Citation Index, Social Sciences Citation Index, and Arts and Humanities Index. Journals appearing in the International Bibliography of the Social Sciences. Journals appearing in the list of approved South African journals as maintained by the Department of Higher Education and Training. Please consult the UNISA Staff Intranet Department Research for the latest list of accredited journals. Citation analysis assumes that research published in prestigious journals with high impact scores and research published by scientists who enjoy high impact ratings will be cited more frequently than other researchers. A further assumption is that the more a researcher or paper is cited, the higher the impact of the research will be on the subject discipline. After you have published an article, you need to upload it to the UNISA Institutional Repository to ensure that by the time you apply for NRF rating, you have the last eight years on the UNISA Institutional Repository for peer reviewing. The UNISA Institutional Repository ensures that your research output is visible on search engines and allows for increased usage, visibility, and impact of your research and is cited more frequently. For submission rights, please contact Ms. Anse van de Vestesen at this address. Why is it important to ensure that your research is visible and that it gets cited by other researchers? The NRF is an institution for benchmarking the quality of researchers against the best in the world, and these researchers are held in high esteem. The NRF rating of individual researchers is based primarily on the quality and impact of their research outputs over the past eight years, considering the evaluation made by local and international peers. The purpose of the NRF rating process is to demonstrate your impact as a researcher on a specific research area, and that is done by finding the researcher's age index. An age index measures the quantity and quality of the scientific output the index is a measure of the number of high-impact papers a researcher has published. The larger the number of influential papers, the higher the age index, regardless of where the work was published. 
the frequency with which a work is cited is usually considered a measure of its importance in the literature of the field. Citation analysis is a bibliometric tool measuring the impact and quality of an article or an author based on the number of times they have been cited by others. Researchers are encouraged to track articles that cite their research output by using bibliometric tools to evaluate the performance of research publications in the academic and scientific arena. The following citation resources are used to harvest citations. Let us now click on Web of Science. Web of Science is a Thomson Reuters product aimed at producing an abstract and citation resources with a large variety of peer-reviewed literature such as scholarly journal articles, reports, and conference proceedings. It includes analytic tools to track and analyze research and caters for the sciences, the social sciences, and the arts and humanities. Please visit the site and make use of its various tools. Let's now click on uh, Scopus. This is the largest abstract and citation database of peer-reviewed literature. It features smart tools to track, analyze, and visualize research. Please make use of this site. Let us now click on Google Scholar. This is a freely accessible web search engine that indexes the full text of scholarly literature across an array of publishing formats and disciplines. We click on Hazings, Publish or Perish. This is a free software program that retrieves and analyzes academic citations. But before you make use of this site, just make sure that you register or download the necessary information. Researcher IDs are unique research profiles and ID numbers that links your publications and manages your personal information. It provides a gateway to fellow researchers to find your work and identify potential collaborators. Once you have registered, you will receive an individual ID number which allows you to manage and share your professional information and also enables you to connect with potential collaborators. It also enables you to showcase your publication history and associates you with your scholarly work. Let's look at the IDs that are currently available. Researcher ID makes it possible for you to update your online profile at any time and you can build and manage your My Publications list by uploading works that you authored from any product database in the web of knowledge. Furthermore, you are able to control how much of your profile is public or private and you can view citation metrics for items found in the web of science. Lastly, Researcher ID enables you to search for collaborators, review publications lists, and see how research is done all over the world. This is another useful resource in research as well as citation analysis. You can create a Google Scholar citation account for yourself, and this will then en enable you to set up an online profile with Google Scholar. You can then add a list of works authored by you to this profile and update information as and when required. Creating a Google Scholar profile means that your works will appear in Google Scholar search results and will increase the visibility of your research. Although it is important for you to be aware of all the electronic resources and tools in the library, 
and those in the open access domain and how to apply these to present your case for research impact. The personal librarians can provide assistance and training in how to use these resources to your best advantage. Let's now click at the site where you'll get your personal librarians. This is where the personal librarians are in terms of their colleges. Let's now click at the College of Law. As you can see, you have two schools, School of Law as well as School of Criminal Justice. School of Law, there's one personal librarian, and then School of Criminal Justice, there's one personal librarian, and that is me. UNISA Library is an active partner in the checks and balances in the NRF application process. Consulting the personal librarians should be an essential step in your NRF application process. They are committed to sharing knowledge with the UNISA academic community through group and individual training sessions. This is the team that developed the content of this project. Thank you very much and good luck with your applications.